A Korean naval patrol ship carrying 104 sailors sank in the West Sea near the disputed maritime border with North Korea Friday night, with 46 still missing. Military officials say they have discovered a hole at the bottom of the vessel, apparently having received some kind of explosion. Shortly after the incident this morning, some news media quoted residents in nearby Pyongyang Island as having heard what sounded like artillery rounds around an hour and a half after the reported time of the sinking. To this, the South Korean military has said the sound could have come from signal flares fired by South Korean forces to illuminate the area for rescue operations in the darkness of the night. So far, 58 sailors have been brought back to safety, but more than 40 still remain uncounted for. And with high waves, fast currents and murky water, rescue operations were next to impossible before the sun went down on Saturday. Our military forces are doing their best just to find one possible survivor and hopefully all of the missing sailors. When the weather conditions improve, we expect much better results. Once the special rescue vessels arrive, we believe rescue operations will be conducted efficiently. Defense Minister Kim Taehyung, who visited the northernmost island of Pyongyang near the northern limit line, said the cause of the wreckage cannot be confirmed until it is found and fully investigated and that we should not jump to any conclusions on what may have caused the ship to sink. We cannot confirm what caused the ship to sink until we are able to tow the vessel to shore. I do not think we should speculate on what was the cause of the incident at this time. While naval forces are trying their best to find out exactly what happened, other military forces have been put on high alert. Initially, there was speculation that North Korea may have been involved, but at this point, it seems unlikely. The rough weather conditions delayed rescue operation on Saturday afternoon, but military officials will continue to search for survivors on Sunday as family of missing soldiers are desperately waiting to hear that they'll be found alive and return home safely. Kim Nari, Arirang News.